Hey everyone and welcome back to Cruising with Matthew. So today I'm going to start something a little bit different and I'm really proud to say that I'm going to be able to talk about current cruise news as I've been lucky enough to receive several press releases from the major cruise lines and today I'm going to start it off with the announcement that Enchanted Princess of Princess Cruises has been floated out for the very first time and Princess has been happy to give me a couple of the pictures of what she will look like when she's completed, as well as some pictures from the day. So I'm really excited to share with you all this, and I really hope that you enjoy this video. The float out, or Madrina ceremony. Now this occurred in the Italian shipyard of Fin Cantieri, and this is marked by a madrina ceremony in true Italian tradition. Now the madrina in Enchanted Princess's case was Doris Ho, who is the CEO and president of the Magsaysay Group, who is one of the largest human resources firms in the Asia and Pacific region. And they have a close partnership with Princess Cruises and have been integral in recruiting people from that region onto the Princess Cruises ships. So I think that is really nice. And the madrina wishes the ship good luck onto her onward journey and blesses her as well as signaling the touching of the ship and water for the very first time which is really exciting because in my opinion this is when a ship truly becomes a ship. Now Enchanted Princess will be christened in June 2020 in Southampton and she's going to be a whopper of a ship carrying over 3,600 guests and weighing in at 140,000 tonnes. Even more importantly is the fact that she's going to build on the successes of her sister ships like Regal, Royal, Majestic and Sky Princess, as well as evolving a little bit and introducing some fantastic new features. Key features on board Enchanted Princess. So like any ship the size of Enchanted Princess, there is a huge range of cabin options available. And these can range from your standard inside cabins, outsides, balconies, mini suites, and even suites. And this means that there is a huge range of choice when you're booking your cruise on ships like Enchanted Princess. But what makes Enchanted Princess unique is that she will have two sky suites, and these will offer the largest balconies at sea with the starboard one having over a thousand foot balcony and on the other side, the port side, over a 947 square foot balcony. And if that isn't enough, you also have the ability to see 270 degree views and it's located on the top deck, meaning that you can watch the sea screen on the movies under the stars on your own balcony and you can also see five people in this cabin each meaning that there is two bathrooms, two bedrooms, and also a dining area with a skylight. And it just seems completely bonkers in my opinion, but it seems brilliant. And if you really want to celebrate, this is definitely the way to do it. Enchanted Princess will also feature an enhanced escape room known as Phantom Bridge. And this is going to combine both physical and digital elements together to create what they call the ultimate escape room at sea. So this definitely seems like something to visit if you get the opportunity to go on Enchanted Princess. And I think it's something that is going to be really exciting. She will also feature a brand new jazz lounge known as Take 5. In addition to this, there is a redesigned Vista Lounge and a enhanced Princess Theatre. And this will feature one of their newly announced shows known as Rock Opera, which will combine a variety of theatrical genres ranging from musicals to rock to opera, believe it or not. And this will be sung in a variety of languages as well, even sign language, which I think is a fantastic move forward for Princess. Princess states that there will be over 25 different venues on the ship and this will include things like the World Fresh Marketplace and speciality restaurants including Bistro Sur Le Mer which is a French bistro as well as things like a Crown Grill Steakhouse which sounds right up my street because I absolutely love good steaks. There will also be Sabatini's Italian Trattoria and if it's anything to do with Italian food I am so there. So all these dining options seem brilliant. Now there will also be a redesigned sanctuary area which is a top deck which has been inspired by the spa 
and is reserved exclusively for adults. So this will mean that if you're wanting to avoid the crowds or not wanting to spend loads of time with kids, for example, especially during the school holidays, this will definitely be the place to be. And it will feature more than twice the amount of private cabanas on the sister ships, as well as things like new lounge furniture. And you'll be able to go and have spa treatments in this area if you so wish, which I think is definitely a good thing for those who like a bit of pampering when they're on a cruise. Now, leading on from this, there is the Enclave at the Lotus Spa, which will have the largest thermal suite at sea and include a variety of things such as hydrotherapy pools, heated stone beds, Turkish bath and dry, steam and aromatherapy chambers. So there's a huge range of pampering options available on board. Enchanted Princess is also Ocean Medallion enabled, which means that you'll be able to access all the features of Ocean Medallion if you wish. And this is something that is really good because when I was introduced to Ocean Medallion on Crown Princess, I was completely blown away by it. And this makes them really stand out to other cruise lines, in my opinion. And you have features like you can access Ocean Compass, where if you want to know where your other travel mates are, then you can look them up and you'll be able to see in which deck they are which is really useful because I had two friends on holiday and we lost one of them and it spent ages trying to find them and it was only a small ship as well. So if it had been on a ship like Enchanted Princess, I probably would have never found them until disembarkation day. So this is a brilliant feature, although it can be disabled if you want to. You will also have things like keyless entry into your cabin because the medallion is linked to your cabin. So if you approach it wearing your medallion, the door will unlock for you. So I really hope you enjoyed learning about the float out of Enchanted Princess, as well as the showcase of some of her unique features that she is going to offer. And I really hope that you like it. Thank you so much to Princess Cruises for giving me this information and the photos. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, if there's anything else that you'd like to know, please comment below and I'll do my very best to answer it. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please take a look at some of the other videos on my channel and like and subscribe as it would be much appreciated. So this was Cruising with Matthew and thank you so much for watching.